guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today but this one's just a little bit special, this one is for Confessions of Paper Addict Cup Files and um, it's a new series, it'll be running for 6 weeks, there'll be one video out each week and um, for each process video I'll be scrapping someone else's photo so this is not my idea I originally saw um, Christina Sorge uh, do this over in one of her Facebook groups where she scrapped someone else's photo for them and then sent them in the, the layout so I contacted her because I absolutely loved the idea and thought um, uh, I would love to give it a go and she said yeah for sure go ahead so that's what I'm doing so the series is like I said it's called scrap for you um, and what I did is put up a little post in my Facebook group the confessions of a paper Attic Facebook group I just asked um, Facebook members if there were any photos that they would like me to create a layout with for them um, it can be something that's kind of really special to them or a photo that they're having trouble scrapping um, you know kind of things along those lines and I would make the layout for them and then send it to them so this is the first one they were chosen kind of at random using um, the random number generator <laughs> thing on Facebook and um, not Facebook on online and uh, this one is Elise um, it's a photo of her and her daughter on her wedding day and it's just the most gorgeous pink so I decided to of course for its confessions of paper to cut files make a cut file and this is an original cut file um, I've made it specifically for this layout so the fun thing is that um, if you want to get your hands on this cut file head over to the Facebook group because it's free for this week while this video is up and this is going to be the same for every single layout um, over the next six weeks there will be a new cut file that I have used um, on each of the layouts and it will be available for free for one week only um, from the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group so again if you want to get your hands on this gorgeous floral um, pop over there and grab it so should we actually get to the layout <laughs> um, what I've done is gone ahead and backed it I've decided to use the Rosie's Studio Indigo Mist collection I really 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 love the florals in this and the soft pinks and the darker pinks as well but in the photo you will see she's got really dark red roses in her flowers and I purposely um, used a collection that didn't have red in it but focused on those soft pinks because I wanted the photo to really stand out and have something that was um, dis distinctive on the page if that makes sense so I've gone for these gorgeous maroons and the greens the wood grain that's on the fence behind her and again the soft pinks um, but the photo in the end really really stands out so I have like I said gone ahead and backed the cut file with papers from the 6x6 paper pad and um, I really wanted to bring in this gorgeous floral 12x12 as well so what I'm going to do is to tone it down and to really help the photo and the cut file take centre stage on the layout I have trimmed down a bit of white cardstock and just mounted that on that floral pattern paper so we've got a gorgeous really chunky thick border of this floral and then I can kind of layer everything on top of that white paper Okay, so just to kind of border it and to bring in some gold, because there is gold foiling in this collection, I have gone ahead and just stitched a single um, a straight stitch around the border of that white pattern paper, and I'm going to go about kind of embellishing the rest of the layout. So like I said, I want to bring in some wood grain, um, and I haven't done that with the cut file, but I'm going to do it with the photo. Um, so we've got some of that. I'm going to bring in some of the gold foiling in that nice neutral cream colour. Just a single layer of that and I'm going to bring in that soft pink as well so just a nice thin border of each of those and that's kind of tying that photo into the background and then I can tidy, tidy that up and start embellishing so this is about the time where I think <laughs> I start to kind of overthink things and <laughs> um, get a little bit stuck in what direction I'm going um, I kind of have a little bit of a natural tendency to place things where I want to but like I said I kind of start overthinking things because again this layout's not um, for me it's for someone else and I'm very very conscious of the fact that I would really 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 <laughs> um, like her to love it um, but yeah I guess in the in the end I can only just kind of go with my style and if she likes it she likes it if she doesn't well there we go <laughs> okay so I wanted to bring in some more gold um, so I've used some gold liquid acrylic ink and splattered that all over the background 
prior to popping down my cut file. I've backed my cut file with some adhesive foam and I'm just going ahead and adding some adhesive to it uh, because I know where the cut file is going. So I'm just going to stick it down now so that I don't have to try to move everything later. I can pop it in place. And I love that the cut file kind of just peeks out over the edge of that white cardstock in places. Okay. Okay, so now I can start kind of embellishing the layout. So I've popped that little layer to the side just because that um, gold Liquitex acrylic ink is still wet so I, <laughs> I really don't want to smudge it. So I'm just going to sit here and kind of sift through the die cuts um, for this collection. There's two of everything and there was an absolute ton um, in every single Rosie Studio collection. So um, I'm just kind of sifting through, pulling out the pieces that I think I can use. Um, I always end up pulling out way more than will ever get put on the layout, but that's okay. It gives me options and just kind of helps me to kind of narrow it down instead of trying to sift through it as I go. Just pulling out bits and pieces as I go. And I think I kind of skip to in a minute. Yep, there we go. I do look through the wood veneer and I pull out some options from that as well. And um, if they don't actually end up making it onto the page. <laughs> um, but that's okay. It's good to have options, isn't it? And I'm just kind of looking through the other um, embellishments and stuff that I've got for this collection as well. Just to kind of familiarise myself with other possible options. Um, for the layout. Okay, so now kind of the embellishing process is a real kind of indicate clear space where the photo can go um, and with the direction that they're facing Elise is kind of looking down and it's just kind of a nice spot to have it nestled on that cut file up there. And I'm just going to start by going through the vellum uh, floral pack that came with this collection. I actually purposely went out and bought another pack of these um, the other day um, because I was afraid I was going to use them all and um, run out on this layout but in the end I really don't go floral heavy because that cut file does a lot of the work for me um, which is good I've got the extra florals now but that's okay <laughs> it's fine by me so I'm just kind of sifting through those items that I've put off to the side um, for my options for embellishing and like I said I've kind of popped those a couple of uh, those vellum florals, one up the top of the photo and one down the bottom um, right and a few of the leaves I've kind of um, cut so that they fit nicely amongst that cut file and that's kind of bringing some colour onto that white cardstock background and I've got this lovely green um, tag that says this day that I really wanted to get on, I thought it was just perfect for it the green matched um, so beautifully with the leaves on in her little bouquet that she's got um, so that defi I definitely wanted that on and I like the idea of stacking a whole bunch of other little sentiments with it and you can see me I've kind of gone through and chopped them up so that they're straight they were a little bit more organically shaped and I didn't like that um, I really wanted for some reason clean lines on those little sentiments so I've trimmed them down and I've stacked them there but you'll see kind of later on I end up taking them out, out and off it because it's just a bit too much going on um, we do have a little green bit that I've cut down, it's got gold foil, it says details, um, which I thought was a beautiful little touch to kind of pop up there, and a little sentiment that says this is my happy up the top as well. So I'm just pulling in some of the die cuts now, um, we've got some flowers and leaves, just kind of adding to those uh, clusters that we've got, and I'm conscious of trying to find somewhere for her to journal and I found this long piece that has a floral down the bottom and it says notes on the top in gold foiling and it fit perfectly within that shape um, that I've got between those two floral clusters it just sat there so nicely so that's going to be a spot for her to journal and I didn't journal or date this layout purposely I'd like um, the recipients to be able to put their own thoughts and their own touch onto the layout so I specifically left them blank um, yeah so just kind of continuing I wanted to bring another cluster over to the left um, to bring in more of those vellum florals so we've got one down the bottom um, I think I end up taking that one off and replacing it with die cuts um, just to kind of soften it up a little 
I'm still umming and ahhing. This is about the point where I get really indecisive. <laughs> and I think I actually turned the camera off and um, I end up having a really lengthy discussion with my younger sister and my mother because my sister was um, up from Christchurch and we kind of discussed um, where things were going <laughs> on the layout and uh, whether I was happy with it and whether I thought it needed more of something. Um, and my younger sister actually was really good she kind of said it's it's great you know just kind of <laughs> you're going in the right direction I think it's lovely I think she'll love it <laughs> um mum was like add this it needs this it needs that and um I actually went with my little sisters <laughs> um positive reinforcement <laughs> isn't it good um younger people kind of uh can do that for you but yeah um so I, I stuck with the direction that I was going in and I'm basically adhering everything down now. So I've, I don't make you watch the entire gluing process, but I did leave this piece in. Um, this is how I end up adhering that tag. I wanted to kind of bring in a bit more of that gold thread that we've got around the border. And I thought it would be nice to kind of loop that tag uh, with the gold thread and loop it around the cut file. Um, to bring in a little bit of texture so I'm just trying to do that here and I wasn't sure what to do with the ends I didn't want to try to tie in a um, bow because it was just going to get too messy it's that kind of metallic thread that does not want to behave and so I end up tucking it under the tag and um, I'm not one for messy thread I like other people can do it and it looks great but it's not something I've ever thought about putting on my layout because it never looks right to me if that makes sense so, um, but it looked nice here, it was just a perfect addition, the perfect subtle touch of gold um, in amongst those clusters. So I just kind of tuck it in under there with a little bit of a foam square and it holds it in place. So I'm rather happy with that little detail. I've gone ahead and I've glued everything else down and I've got a little pink gold foil butterfly that I decided needs to make it on the layout. So I'm just going to add it just for a little proper dimension up in this cluster on the left. I'm just going to pop that in place. And this is where I decide I should add more of that gold thread. I kind of want to repeat that texture around the layout. So I'm going to tuck some in up in this top cluster up on the florals above the photo. And I'm going to use that little foam square trick and just kind of use that to hold it in place. And I'm going to do the same with that little floral cluster down the bottom right as well. And um, I'm so glad I did it. It's just ever so slightly peeking out from one of those florals. But it's such a really, um, a really nice little detail on the layout. Okay, just fiddling with it, trying to get it to look nice. And now I need to decide on my title. Um, I definitely knew I wanted it to be you and me um, because this is for Elise, it's a photo of her and her daughter and it's just such a beautiful sweet little moment. Um, you really couldn't have the title as anything else. <laughs> um, so I was struggling as to what thickers I wanted to use. I really wanted to use those scripty gold ones, but I didn't have the right letters. And this is the kind of layout that I did not want to hack up thickers to try to make the right letters. <laughs> um, I wanted it to be perfect. So I ended up with these. And I end up... Um, they're a white foam with a nice soft gold foil. And they kind of get shuffled around the um, page a little bit. But... Um, I had them on an angle kind of following that photo and I didn't quite like it so that's why I pulled out my T-square ruler and just kind of lined it up straight and it sits a lot nicer now that the words are straight. Um, I'm just adding another little um, sentiment strip on that banner. I really wanted to kind of overlap another one just to kind of add a bit more texture. Um, so I pop that down and um, I found a foam sticker that I <laughs> wanted to get on the layout, but um, kind of inevitably designed myself out of a spot for it, so it goes back into the packaging. Um, I'm just going to bring in some more of those gold Liquitex ink splatters onto the page, because I've kind of covered them up, uh, the ones that I did at the beginning. So just a few more of those, and I'm bringing in some of these um, Studio Acacia gold foil pearls, and I found them at scrapbook.com a wee while ago. Um, and I, they just kind of fell on my cart <laughs> um, but they were gold so <laughs> um, yeah so I'm going to edit just a few of them just for some little pops of gold um, around the layout and um, I think they really kind of add to it and add a bit of interest um, 
to the layout so after that that's pretty much it for my process so i hope you enjoyed um don't forget to pop over to the confessions of a paper edit facebook group to get your hands on this cut file um and at least i really hope you um enjoyed watching the process and um your layout will not be far away <laughs> okay bye guys mm -hmm.